List of major dietary minerals, what they do, plus food sources. Dietary minerals are often referred to as the metabolic spark plugs of life energy that act as catalysts for the activation of many chemical reactions needed for normal bodily functions. They are essential nutrients for human health and necessary for our existence. Minerals are the nutritional components found in the periodic table of elements and are naturally occurring substances present in the Earth's soil layer and water sources. Plants absorb these microscopic particles and make them bioavailable when consumed directly or by moving up the food chain. Macro minerals versus micro minerals. Dietary minerals are basically divided into two groups macro minerals and micro minerals or trace minerals. Although both are equally important for optimal health, macro minerals are the main major minerals the body needs in larger amounts and are subsequently the most likely to become deficient through inadequate intake. The quantity consumed daily through dietary sources is specific to one's age, gender, and lifestyle activities. Some people may need more of certain major minerals or when there is a mineral deficiency. This is the case for pregnant or nursing women, the elderly, vegans, and those who make poor dietary food choices. There are seven major macro minerals. They are calcium, magnesium, potassium, sulfur, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. Here is the following information about each, as well as the U.S. recommended dietary allowances and food sources. The seven major macro minerals, functions, RDA, and food sources. Number one, calcium. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in the human body, largely found in the bones and teeth. It helps build and maintain the skeletal structure, regulates muscle contractions, is important for proper nerve transmission, as well as supports healthy blood cell function and clotting. Vitamin D is needed for the proper absorption of calcium. In addition, the body generally requires twice as much calcium as magnesium in the diet for the best uptake of these minerals. When this balance is thrown off, deficiency can occur on either side. The recommended dietary allowance for calcium is 1300 mg a day for adults based on a 2000 calorie daily diet, but can be lower or higher depending on one's age or gender. Greater amounts of calcium are required by women especially after menopause or when pregnant or breastfeeding. Food sources include raw dairy products like yogurt, kefir and cheeses, canned sardines and salmon, leafy greens, tofu, seaweeds, almonds, tahini, oranges, broccoli, carob, spirulina, and herbal teas like chamomile, nettle, and oat straw. Number 2. Magnesium Magnesium works alongside calcium and is crucial for healthy nerve function, muscular contractions, and relaxation, as well as plays a significant role in bone and teeth formation. Magnesium helps to regulate blood pressure, normalizes the heart rate, assists in many enzymatic processes, DNA synthesis, and contributes to cellular energy production. Adequate magnesium levels also are necessary for the efficient delivery of calcium and potassium across cell membranes. The recommended dietary allowance for magnesium is 420 mg a day for adults based on a 2000 calorie daily diet but can be lower or higher depending on one's age or gender. Food sources include green leafy vegetables, chia seeds, avocados, pumpkin seeds, almonds, brown rice, oatmeal, salmon, black beans, cacao, peanut butter, and herbal teas like nettle, alfalfa, red clover, horsetail, and dandelion root. Number 3. Potassium Potassium is a mineral most well known as a positively charged electrolyte needed for proper cellular fluid balance, working alongside the two other macro minerals, sodium and chloride. It is also necessary for maintaining normal blood pressure, balancing the acid alkaline levels of the body pH, and is involved in nutrient transport, cardiac functions, muscle contractions, and nerve transmissions. The recommended dietary allowance for potassium is 4,700 mg a day for adults based on a 2,000 calorie daily diet but can be lower or higher depending on one's age or gender. 
food sources included dookie beans, lentils, apricots, bananas, avocado, bamboo shoots, shiitake, dulse, horsetail, nettles, spinach, molasses, meats, potatoes, squash, salmon, and dried fruits like prunes, raisins, and figs. Number 4. Phosphorus Phosphorus is the second most abundant mineral in the human body after calcium. Phosphorus is a part of our DNA and ATP and is an important component of the skeletal structure and works with calcium to provide strong bones and teeth. It is required for the synthesis of certain B vitamins like riboflavin and niacin and assists in muscle and vascular contractions. Adequate amounts of phosphorus are essential for energy metabolism as well as for the overall growth and repair of bodily tissues. Phosphorus supports protein synthesis, cell signaling, kidney functions, and nerve transmission. Too much phosphorus in the diet can throw off calcium levels. The recommended dietary allowance for phosphorus is 700 mg a day for adults based on a 2000 calorie daily diet. It can be lower or higher depending on one's age or gender. Food sources include dairy products, meat, poultry, seafood, legumes, spirulina, Brazil nuts, hemp seeds, and whole grains. Number 5. Sodium Along with potassium and chloride, sodium is one of the three main electrolyte minerals. Sodium is essential for the body's electrical conductivity and ATP. It helps regulate the movement of nutrients and fluids in and out of cells and promotes the balance of positive and negative ions in the body fluids and tissues. It also supports hydrochloric acid production, nerve impulses, muscle contractions, heart rate, and balanced blood pressure levels. Too much sodium intake, however, can increase blood pressure in some individuals and throw off the ratio of potassium in the body. The upper recommended dietary allowance for sodium is 2,300 mg a day for adults based on a 2,000 calorie daily diet, but can be lower depending on one's age, gender, or health conditions. A lower RDA of 1,500 mg a day might be more suitable for some people. Food sources include pink salt, sea salt, celery juice, dark leafy greens, olives, miso, seaweeds, and soy sauce. Number 6. Sulfur Next to calcium and phosphorus, sulfur is the third most plentiful mineral in the body. It is found in the muscles, bones, and skin, but plays an important part in many bodily systems. Sulfur bonds are required for proteins and are necessary for the proper activity and structure of enzymes needed for metabolic processes and DNA repair. It is an important element for healthy skin, helping to improve elasticity and tissue regeneration. It is additionally rebuilding the tendons, ligaments, and muscles after injury. Sometimes this macro mineral is left off the list of top major minerals, but it is an important one nonetheless. Although sulfur is an essential dietary component required by the body, there is no recommended dietary allowance for the mineral. It is typically found in abundance in a protein-rich diet as it is a component of the two amino acids methionine and cysteine. Food sources include eggs, meat, poultry, legumes, garlic, spirulina, kelp, MSM, hemp seeds, nuts, cruciferous vegetables, onions, durian, and leafy greens. Number 7. Chloride Chloride, also an electrolyte, has a negative charge that works with sodium and potassium to maintain a healthy balance of bodily fluids. It is an essential macro mineral needed for hydrochloric acid production and the digestive juices that initially break down food in the stomach. It also assists in regulating normal pH levels and is important for proper kidney function. Chloride is mostly consumed via salt intake and any excess is excreted by the body. The recommended dietary allowance for chloride is 2,300 mg a day for adults based on a 2,000 calorie daily diet, but can be lower or higher depending on one's age or gender. Food sources include pink salt, sea salt, olives, celery, leafy greens, and seaweeds. Mineral testing and deficiency symptoms 
The best way to learn about the minerals you may be currently lacking in is to get tested by a qualified laboratory service. This is an important first step to correcting any mineral imbalance you may be experiencing. Some minerals work together, so an excess of one can also lead to a shortage of another. Testing is the surefire way to know what you may need more or less of to provide for your unique requirements. Precautions. It is always best to seek the guidance of a qualified health professional to ensure you are getting adequate minerals in your diet. Sometimes mineral supplementation may be necessary in some cases, especially if you are pregnant, nursing, or have a serious health condition. Thanks for watching! For more on the Mighty Minerals, as well as top quality online sources, be sure and follow the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And why not increase your gray matter with another informational video?